we are going to take a look at how to download OverDrive audiobooks from the Sandusky Library website. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is scroll down on the uh, right hand side of the page to the bottom. Clevenet Online Audiobooks. And you see we're on Library On Demand Clevenet. And there are four different kinds of digital media audiobooks, ebooks, video, and music. Today we're going to concentrate on the audiobooks. Right at the top here, see we have the quick start guide. And probably most of our uh, web savvy internet patrons will be able to use this. Three step process download register and check out. Right next to quick start we have help. Probably one of the first things the patron is going to want to know is is my device compatible? Compatible devices? And right here we have a long list of compatible MP3 players. Right underneath compatible devices, you see iPod users, and the iPod is not compatible with the library on demand. The second thing they're going to want to do is download the software. Free software, the Adobe and Moby Pocket for the ebook, and the Overdrive audiobook, music, and video. So they will want to download the Overdrive audiobook software. After the software is installed on the computer, then they can begin searching for a title. Right here in their search digital books, if they want to, they can look for Patterson. Click on Go. And we found titles for ebooks and audiobooks. But if they want to narrow it down, they can click under Advanced Search, under Creator, Patterson, Format. And we're going to look for Overdrive Audiobooks search. And this brings up all the books by James Patterson just for the audiobooks. Okay, we're going to go back to home. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for just audiobooks. And we have three different options, or four different options. Newly available, recently returned, top picks, and random choices. Let's take a look at the newly available. Here's one by Janet Ivanovich, Plum Lucky. And we can see right here that right now there are zero copies available. Uh, library copies one, that means that uh, Clevenet has purchased only one license for this, so only one Clevenet patron at a time can download this. Lending period is 14 days. After 14 days the title is no longer available on their MP3 player, but they will want to delete it from their computer. Duration is 3 hours and 25 minutes. Here's the description. But right over here, since it's newly available, you see if they wanted to, they could join the waiting list, which is just like putting a book on hold. They would just like a just like putting a book on hold, they would type in their library barcode number here and log in and when 
the title was available, they would receive an email message that they could that is available for download. I'm going to go back. So I found that most of the newly available books have been checked out and you probably will have to put a hold on it. So let's go to the recently returned. Here's the three hour diet. I'm going to click on it. Nope. Actually, as we can see, I've discovered that even some of the recently returned are not available. And this one also says join the waiting list. So let's go back and see if we can find one that is available. Let's just go ahead and click more. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, let's look for, let's, let's click, let's do Love Star Girl. Okay, it says that there is one copy available. Right over here it says add to select list. We see see what the description is and think like we would like to put that on our select list. So right here we see that Love Star Girl is on our select list, but we want to browse a little bit more. So we're going to click on continue browsing. And it only takes for you back a page. So we're going to go back another page. And we're going to continue scrolling down our list. And here's a Nora Roberts book, Born in Ice. And actually, we don't have to go any further. We can look right over here and click on Add to Select List also. And you can see right here, where it says Burn to CD. Um, that means that once you download this book, that is also available to burn to CD if you prefer that, that format. Um, it looks like all of these are, but nope, here's one. The, actually, the first one, Love Star Girl, was not allowed to burn to CD. So it will let you know right here with a little icon. So we're going to add to select list the Nora Roberts title. And you see we have two titles in our select list. But let's say we don't, we've decided we don't really want to download Love Star Girl after all. So we're going to click remove. So right now we only have one title. Um, in our select list, and we're going to continue browsing, or no, we're going to we're going to actually proceed to check out. And this is where you would check out at. Put in your library barcode number. And click login. So right here, it asked me to uh, confirm checkout. Uh, if I actually wanted to check this book out, I would click confirm checkout and it would start the download process. So that is the basics on how to download audiobooks from Overdrive Library On Demand.